What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Hidden Fates opening. We're doing another Elite Trainer Box. At this point, to be honest, I feel like the price of the singles has reached a point where it's like, all right, to complete my collection of basically, not, not the, like the full set, not worried about like reverse, commons, uncommons, and stuff like that, but to complete the whole ultra rare or better set, all the shinies and stuff like that, GXs, stadium cards, I think the prices are low enough that it makes sense to just pick them up singles. However, kind of like, you know, just for my own pride, I just feel like I have to pull a Charizard. So at this point, like, I feel like that's my goal. And, you know, obviously I do want, it would be great to pick up all the other cards. We don't have to buy them, but that's kind of like our primary objective. And once, once we hit that, to be honest, um, it might be kind of like winding down on these uh, hidden fates openings although of course we're still gonna do stuff like the <clears throat> all those premium collection pokeball stuff we're gonna definitely gonna do some of those so you can definitely look forward to that but at this point we're on that Charizard hunt and that is our primary objective here is that sick promo oh, we have 10 packs sorry about that let's get into our first one we have a Mew pack art and let's go. So the Charizard hunt in, begins in earnest right now. Hope everyone's having a good day on this beautiful Sunday. Especially if you're in the Northeast like myself. Weather has been amazing. Feels like summer again all of a sudden. Alright, let's see. We got a Staryu. Ekans. Eevee. Pikachu. Clefairy. A Golem is our rare. This looks like a recycled art and then a caterpie so that is a real dud of a pack if you guys haven't seen the last pokey mart video um i talked way longer than i was hoping or expecting to about like the gold stars but like after that video like to be honest i feel like i motivated myself <laughs> to focus on gold stars and stuff like that and um yeah you know we've been going for hidden fates for so long and I'm still really enjoying it still think this is like the best set to come to pokemon tcg since i'm not even sure if there's any set that was as hyped as this one um but i'm not gonna lie you know i it as i was making that video i was like man you know there's uh I feel like I should be focused more on more, not necessarily like all vintage stuff, but uh, just some different cards, especially when, uh, you know, it's the best kind of like way to, to get the most value out of like money that you are dedicating to this hobby. So in this next pack, we got Jigglypuff, Weezing, and Geo. Ooh, this box is rough. <laughs> you know, as I say, like, um, say all this stuff and then like the, the packs, the, the pulls just get like ice cold. It's like Hidden Fate's nose. But yeah, just kind of focusing on that Charizard right now. We did pick one up, so we will have one to complete the set. Um, but I would like to pull one. You know, we, we did do very good in uh, a lot of the previous sets. So we've got the Burning Shadows one we pulled on a video. The Unbroken Bonds. Uh, so that's my primary objective at this point. A Garchomp Shiny. Add this to the dupe pile. Yeah, we'll probably start doing these uh, Discord giveaways. Kind of like whatever of my pretty big collection of dupes at this point. You know, things that people need. We'll start giving away some of those through there. If you haven't joined the Discord, definitely do so. Uh, big shout out to Ricky for doing a great job. Um, you know, really setting up stuff. So, thank you. You've been a huge help and I really appreciate the time you've been spending on uh, setting things, a lot of these bots and stuff like that to kind of like make this a uh, well-oiled machine to be honest. We have Electrode. Oh man, this might be my worst box yet. We're only halfway there, but that was a rough start. Let's uh, start to get something good. But yeah, back to like the gold stars. Uh, there's still a couple that I need. I think I still need some raw ones. 
Um, obviously, as we were talking about it, there was there was a number that I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to tame, especially like PSA versions, like the Rayquaza. I might that one, you know, might be just for a binder collection. Might be the equivalent of a PSA one card. Birds, we got the birds. Might need to be folded in half <laughs> in order to get it to my collection. Ah, that you know, this is the base art. I don't give this one enough credit. This one does look amazing. It's stuff like that that just <laughs> makes it uh, very easy to not give it the credit it deserves. And you know what? The card is, um, I don't think it's great, but I wonder if it could make it work. You know, you kind of have that. I don't think the Porygon Z route is used, worth it with the like unit energies to get the different types. But it does have 300 HP, so... I'm not, oh, I think that's probably the highest. I think like Whale Lord Magic Card might have had 300 HP, but the card wasn't that good. Um, 210 for a 4 energy attack is not really good, but if you can get to that state, and the Sky Legend is pretty useful as well for a GX attack. Definitely don't think it competes with like the top tier meta, but that might be fun to put together a deck of that just to kind of try to make it work. All right, winding down, three packs left. Not gonna lie, this has been rough. Definitely our toughest box so far. It's gonna be very difficult to make that five hits. All right, we got Clefairy. Butterfree is our rare slot. And then, ooh, Shiny Altaria, okay. All dupes so far in this opening, but that's okay. We will take what we can get at this point when we're really down to the wire. If we get two hits out of these two packs, we will just break the, uh, you know, kind of like par for the course for ETBs. But even that is going to be tough. Here we go. Two packs left. Lightning Energy, a Jinx, Magmar, Brock's Grit, Jigglypuff, Ekans, Geodude, Cubone, Eevee. A Misty's Water Command. Oh, nice! Espeon GX. Anytime you pull a Shiny Evolution is amazing. Anytime it's not another Glacial, <laughs> I appreciate as well. And Espeon, how much? I feel like Espeon is the uh, kind of like more favorite over Umbreon, although I do know there's a lot of Umbreon fans out there. Shout outs to Pokemon Lover95. Oh, I'm sorry, I don't remember exactly, but there's like uh more recent sub is umbreon something sorry i don't remember your exact name but shout out to you although we did pull espion i feel like there's i feel like i see espion more but as far as like people talking about which one they're like i feel like i hear umbreon more often very cool this is one of the cooler shinies umbreon's not bad but he does and he just has that like blue stripe as opposed to i don't remember what color but this one is full green completely different very happy with that pull right there. Another shiny GX that we need. All right, can we get this last pack magic to make this a successful opening? It is down to the wire. Lightning Energy, Jinx, Graveler, Farfetch'd, Charmander, Slowpoke, Psyduck, Pikachu, Magikarp, Erica's Hospitality, so nothing in the rare slot. So for our last reverse slot, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all down below. Join the Discord, and we have a boom. Ooh, Ralts, nice. Another dupe, but I love Ralts. I don't know why. Like, I really like Gardevoir. Gallade is just okay. I was really happy when um, they had this community day for Pokemon Go. Uh, I'm not a super active Pokemon Go player, but I did go out to a park and walk around and picked up, I think, seven of these, like, inside, uh, maybe like 90 minutes. I was really happy with that. Shiny Ralts, we're still looking for that Gardevoir, but uh, we will take this happily. And, whoa, good, very solid opening. Rough start, though, so we made it. We made a good comeback. We have a Garchomp Shiny, Ralts Shiny, Altaria Shiny. Very solid Shinies this time. We got the Birds and a Espeon GX definitely our best poll of this video and yeah another successful ETB very shaky though uh, but I'm glad we came out with that five hit ratio and um, 
yeah, stay tuned for more videos. We're still gonna definitely be, oh boy, that damage just definitely keep going until we get that Charizard GX. Uh, I'm sure there will be at some point where we stop, but uh, we still have a good number of tries. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.